James Foley's painful death, which we will not show, was posted online as a warning message to the United States. Get out of Iraq. We now know that President Barack Obama took measures to try to save him, sending special forces into Syria because they thought they knew the location of the American hostages. Former CIA senior official Robert Grenier says they must have had strong intelligence for the president to order the mission. The, the chances of you getting you know, a helicopter or two or more of Americans in a situation where it would be very, very difficult, if not impossible, to extract them would give people a lot of pause. Using unnamed ground and air assets, special forces like the ones pictured here went into a remote location. The hostages were not there. There was a firefight. Several Islamic State group fighters were allegedly killed, one American slightly injured. The announcement came just hours after the family of Foley was asked if the U.S. did enough to save him. There's more that can be done. Um, all I'm saying is what we've been doing to date has not been It wasn't enough. enough. There are two other American journalists missing in Syria, Austin Tice, it's unclear who has him, but we know Stephen Sotloff is being held by the Islamic State group. They have threatened to kill him if the U.S. does not stop its bombing campaign. The U.S. responded by launching new strikes Wednesday. The United States of America will continue to do what we must do to protect our people. We will be vigilant and we will be relentless. When people harm Americans anywhere, we do what's necessary to see that justice is done. U.S. officials are not ruling out going in after the people responsible for Foley's death, if they can find them. But right now, the focus is on finding the other missing Americans before they meet the same fate. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera, Washington.